Hey friends and welcome back to the Guitar Max channel and it is time to check out the guitar that I just got from Sawtooth. So this is kind of the, the part two uh, video to the video I did uh, about a week ago, a little more than a week, where I was checking out their crazy 50% off Memorial Day sale. And I kind of did something like this last year, right, where I bought a guitar on their Black Friday sale. Uh, that was uh, like a Strat style guitar that I've got in the back there. And this time I wanted to get something else, you know, take advantage of the sale because they do these crazy 50% off sales, which is just nuts. And this time I got an acoustic, right? So in the last video, um, I was talking about like, you know, I was looking at all this stuff like, hey, what should I get? And they had a lot of really cool acoustics. So we're going to open the box, check out what I got. And then, of course, listen to how the guitar sounds. And then I want to hear from you guys. What have you been buying during this sale. And there's also a few other things I want to talk about based off of the comments I got on the last video. But aside from the guitar, I did get one other thing. Some beer, wait, I'm sorry, this is not beer. This is malt beverage. I always like to have something refreshing when I'm opening a guitar box. And so yeah, this is Weinstefana, brewed in Bavaria, Germany. And so what, what this is, is um, this is actually from Germany, not just from Germany, but it's from the oldest brewery in the world. And they make the alcoholic version of this, and then they make the non-alcoholic version, which is what uh, Go DPS sells. So I got the acoustic guitar, which you're about to see, and a little six-pack of these. So let's go ahead and crack open a cold one here. Let me put this in the background. And... Uh, you know, we'll just have a little, little drink here. It's uh, it's gonna be nice. Mmm. 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 Das ist lecker. Sehr gut. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here on my amplifier so I can spill it, and let's go ahead and open up this box. But real quick, guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new affordable guitars, staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and also checking out delicious German malt beverages, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, now let's get to the bottom of this box here. And you'll notice uh, right there, they've got these 50% off QR code coupons that they stick to the outside of the box. So as if the sale wasn't enough, you buy something 50% off on the sale and then they give you another thing when you get the guitar. Pretty crazy. Um, but let's go ahead and just slice this sucker right open here and see what we've got. So yeah, I was looking at uh, the acoustic guitars. I mean, I looked at a lot of stuff, but this is, um, you know, I've never... I've never really gotten an acoustic guitar from Sawtooth before. Everything I've owned from Sawtooth has been electric stuff. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, lots of nice packaging and uh, a little more bubble wrap. I'll just uh, give you a few pop, pop, don't stop here. Okay, that's enough of that. And it's double boxed. So we'll go ahead and get this out. All right, there it is. Get rid of the big one here. And, okay, and now let's open this one here. Be a little more careful because it is an acoustic guitar. Don't want to put my knife through it or anything. Let's go ahead and reveal what we have received here. Okay. More bubble wrap. And what's this? Learn to play music lessons. Well, I'm glad they sent me that. Are they sending me some kind of message with this? Okay. And we'll take this out. Take the neck protector off. And now we've got the bag here. This is our little... We've got an extra bridge and a nice big Allen wrench for making neck adjustments. And here we go, guys. 
Look at that headstock. Boom! Right there. This is one of the things I was looking at. And this is one of the things that a lot of you were encouraging me to get in the comments section. Look at this. 12 string acoustic electric all mahogany. This is the mahogany top, mahogany back and sides and neck. And it's got the Fishman electronics with the built-in tuner, which is vital for me. I said it before, I'll say it again. I think every acoustic electric guitar should have a tuner built in. It's an active preamp, so we've got the, uh, the battery right down there, and you plug in the cable. And yes, a beautiful 12-string. Guys, I'm going to give you some nice close-ups of this guitar. Look at these inlays right here. These are like a, like a throwing star or something like that. These are really cool little inlays. And actually, a lot of the, um, a lot of the other sawtooth guitars have these inlays. A lot of the acoustic guitars... And I'm even seeing it now on some of the newer models of the electric guitars, like the Natural series and then some of the other stuff that's, that's uh, just coming out recently. Now, we're going to get into the demo in just a minute here so you guys can hear how this thing sounds. But I, after, you know, I was started working on the second part of the video, and I was thinking of like, okay, I've got this acoustic guitar, and I've got the beer, which, uh, sorry, malt beverage, which I'm going to take another sip of right now. I got this stuff, but something I really overlooked and I'm kind of kicking myself for was some of all of the other little guitar trinkets, right, that they have on the website there. Because, uh, you know, one of the things I, I was testing in that first video was whether or not the 50% discount worked on truly everything or if it was just certain items. Well, it turned out it was everything on their website, on the, on the GoDPS uh, music website and when I was thinking about it later on like I said I'd wish I'd bought some stuff like a case or a gig bag or a tuner because all that other stuff is on sale too but you know I'm always I always have guitar on the brain so this is what I went with and, and I you know I don't regret it by the way I should mention if you guys are watching this video at some point in the distant future um, well first of all hello from the past uh, I hope things are going great and second of all um, I'm sorry, but the sale I'm talking about in this video probably isn't on anymore because it only goes to the end of the month. All right, guys. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, get this set up so you guys can listen to how this sounds. And it is an acoustic electric, so I'm going to give you guys both the direct in sound, you know, plugging it into my interface so you can hear what it sounds like plugged in. And then I'm also, of course, going to give you uh, the natural acoustic sound so you can compare the two sounds and that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Get this all set up. Again, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, let's listen to how this beautiful 12-string mahogany guitar sounds.
Okay guys, so let's talk a little bit about the sound and playability and a few other things with this guitar. So first of all, a few things that surprised me about it. One was it was almost in tune when it, I took it out of the box. Now, to be fair, the, like, the Go DPS warehouse is only like half an hour from me. So number one, shipments always arrive really fast. And number two, the guitar is not spending a long time in transit. So that helps a lot with the guitar being like uh, ready to play when I get it. Um, but yeah, so that was the first cool thing was it was almost in tune, which for a 12 string is pretty impressive. When I took it out of the box, the other thing is that the, uh, the action is surprisingly low, not just for an acoustic, but also for a 12 string because 12 string guitar, there's a lot of tension on the neck and sometimes the increased tension makes it a little bit more susceptible to setup changes, you know, changes in the, the bowing of the wood and so forth of the neck. So uh, the setup it was, was very good, in particular the action. The other thing uh, with the setup is that um, these are small acoustic guitar frets, right? You know, they're much smaller than an electric guitar. That being said, they're finished and leveled very, very nicely. So I didn't get any weird buzzing or dead spots or anything like that. Now, what am I going to use a 12-string acoustic guitar for? Well, I, I kind of hinted at this in the previous video, but as many of you know, I am currently working on finishing up my next solo album, which is called Titanium Rain. And there is at least one song that I wanted to use a beautiful acoustic 12 string intro on. But now, after sitting here and playing this guitar and messing around with it and hearing that luscious 12 string sound, I think I'm actually gonna add another track on there that features uh, the acoustic 12 string a lot more. So, you know, it's inspirational to sit down and play this. Now, obviously I'm not a huge acoustic player, but of course the tone of this guitar is such a wonderful uh, sort of uh, palette cleanser, right? For the high gain electric stuff that I normally do. And there's a beautiful contrast between those sounds. Now let's talk a little bit more about the tone here. Uh, and, and in particular, the Fishman preamp. I am a little, you know, maybe out of the ordinary in that I tend to like the electric sound of an acoustic guitar sometimes better than the acoustic, acoustic sound. You know what I mean, right? And this type of preamp setup, I think, is just the right balance of good quality sounds and usability, but it's not getting into where it's so advanced that it's going to really bump up the price of the guitar because this guitar is normally it was like 499 right but then with the 50 percent off sale that knocks it down to 250 dollars uh yeah and it's got your three you know your volume control and then your three eq controls uh, sorry two eq bass and treble and then a phase switch and then of course you have the tuner which i love our golden yellow non-alcoholic malt beverage tastes like a premium malt beverage has to taste. Tangy, fresh, and full-bodied, with hints of cloves and honey, as well as a fine yeasty spirit. The unique taste is achieved by a method developed in collaboration with the Technical University of Munich. The top fermentation is not interrupted and the beverage has the entire time to mature. Only after the full development, the alcohol is withdrawn gently. A good companion to light summer dishes, sweet and sour dishes, or fruit sorbets. So that was fascinating, but there's a few other things I wanna talk about in this video that people were talking about in the comments section of my previous video, the video where I was looking at the website and doing the actual shopping and stuff. So first of all, let's talk about the left-handed and right-handed guitars. I know there's a lot of people complaining, especially right now, that they don't have very many right-handed guitars left. Now, obviously, there are way more right-handed guitar players than left-handed guitar players. And at this point, I think just so many people have bought stuff on sale that they've just run out of a lot of stock. Sawtooth is one of the companies that makes a lot of left-handed options. And what's really cool is they even make left-handed malt beverages. Okay, guys, so for everybody who watched the first video when I was asking you guys, what do you think I should get? Uh, I know a lot of you told me to get the 12 string. So I got the 12 string, but 
for the, everybody who was watching, what do you guys think, right? What do you guys think of this guitar? Was it a good choice? Was it a bad choice? Should I have gotten something else? I know that there were some people who wanted me to get the tube combo amp. Um, I didn't get that, but, you know, I'm still very, very happy with this guitar. So anyway, guys, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. Now, as usual, guys, I'm going to have links for everything I was talking about in this video down in the video description below. And I'm trying to, like, rush this video out. Um, I'm shooting it right now, and I think I'm going to put it out tomorrow morning. Uh, so, you know, the sale is still going on for a little while if you guys want to want to get something. I will also have links to my social media, all that stuff, down in the video description. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you very soon. It says since 1040 up here. So this, this beer is, it's almost a thousand years old.